Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, is your host with the most aim for LR32 here and destroy the ever living volcanic boo boo stain. Wow, that sounds disgusting. Oh, for that subscribe button, so we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder. Uh, I want to apologize really quick for not uploading for the past three days. Been trying to get into my new full time job schedule. They got me on 4 a.m. to noon, ladies and gentlemen. Really trying to uh, get in the swing of things with that. So I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded in three days. I've just said so much going on. My grandfather's been in the hospital. Luckily, he is much better. Let's go ahead and dive on into this YGOorganization.com slash daddy issues, bruh. Like, oh my God. So let's dive on into brand new volcanic support. Now, I haven't even read this yet. So Let's let's prepare our anus, ladies and gentlemen. So 1,505 days of pain later, Volcanic fans are finally free from the prophecy of 3,008 days ago. So we have Volcanic Emperor, level 8 Fire Pyro, special summon effect monster, 3,100 attack, 2,400 defense. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon from your hand or graveyard by banishing three Pyro monsters or one Blaze Accelerator card from your face-up field and or grave. You can only special summon Emperor once per turn. When summoned this way, you can inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each of your Pyro monsters currently banished. Then you can set one Volcanic Trap directly from your deck except Volcanic Eruption. I think that's because of translation issues. Each time your opponent special summons a monster, monsters inflict, inflict 500 damage to them. This card does one thing that matters and one thing only that matters other than the burn. It gets you to blaze accelerator fucking reload. The deck, the volcanic deck finally has an in-house archetype way to get to the damn trap. That literally is what makes the deck busted. <laughs> ah! So, yeah, this card's disgusting. It's got a very easy summoning condition. And remember that with the Blaze Accelerator Reload, you can dump itself to the grave. So just by doing that, you unlock the ability to Special Summon Ember, and it's a 3100 beat stick. Like, that's disgusting. Uh, legal targets for this card are Volcanic Inferno and Recharge. Volcanic Eruption, ah, yeah, is not a Volcanic Trap card in the OCG, where this all matters and will need its name change. Yeah. Let's see. So we have Volcanic Trooper. This is a level 3 Pyro Fire, or yeah, Pyro Fire Effect Monster. Uh, 1,000 attack and defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's in each once per turn. If this card is no more expressed, you can add one Volcanic card from your deck to your hand, except Volcanic Trooper or Volcanic Eruption. You can ditch a card to special summon one Bomb Token. Good lord. Pyro Fire, level 1 attack and defense 1,000 in your opponent's field. When this token is destroyed, its controller takes 500 damage. Eh, I guess, like... It searches you a volcanic card, so it also... Well, no, it doesn't search you, Blaze Accelerator Reload. I don't think, unless it's treated as a volcanic card. I haven't read the card in a hot minute. What is this, like a Cyber Dragon thing? Volcanic Rim Fire. That sounds nasty as fuck. <laughs> like, oh my god, a Volcanic Rim Fire. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all deal, deal with that in the comments section. Uh, y'all let me know in the comments, what do you think a Volcanic Rim Fire is? <laughs> <laughs> Level 1 Fire Pyro Effect Monster, 300 attack, 0 defense. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can activate one of these effects. Oh, please be another Volcanic Shell. Banish this card from your grave, and if you do, send one Volcanic Monster from your deck to the graveyard, except Rim Fire. Okay, so that's basically just another Volcanic Shell. Like, that's amazing. Banish one Blaze Accelerator card from your face-up field or grave, and if you do, place one Blaze Accelerator Continuous Spell or Trap from your hand or deck, Face up in your back row. You can only use each effect once per turn. This card gets you to reload, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. So this gets you any continuous spell or trap. Now, what I wonder is that can you still play the Tri-Blaze Accelerator? Because you have to send a face-up Blaze Accelerator from your back row to the grave to play out the Tri-Blaze. If you can play out Tri-Blaze, does this mean that like they want us to play Do Volcanic Doomfire with Rimfire? Bro, that, that sounds like what Doomfire leaving the bathroom after you take a shit. <laughs> so this is Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Ah, Konami's finally learning their damn ways, making the shit say Volcanic and Blaze. Blaze Accelerator, I should say. Continuous spell. Activate this card by sending one Blaze Accelerator from your hand deck or face-up field of the grave. That's sexy. You can only control one Volcanic Blaze. Sure, whatever. Once per turn, you can special summon a Volcanic Monster from your hand. What? Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Send one level one pyro monster from your deck to the grave. And if you do, destroy that target. Bro, this thing dumps shell. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I don't think Scattershot's a level one. If it is, that's fucking disgusting. Um, and the fact that it can special summon a volcanic from the hand. 
I don't want to bite off more than I can chew here, but are, does this card let you special summon Doomfire? I don't think it does, because I'm pretty sure Doomfire says, says you have to send the uh, Triblaze Accelerator and can't be summoned by the ways. But the fact that you can just summon out any Volcanic from your hand to the field is disgusting. Now, I will shit my pants if they give us like a Royal Firestorm Guard retrain that's actually like a Volcanic card. Like, I don't think we're going to because now we're into the Spells and Traps, but still um fire ejection normal spell okay you can only have it one card with this card's name per turn send one pyro monster from your deck to the grave uh-huh scatter shot hello then if it's a volcanic monster you can apply one of these effects inflict damage your opponent equal to its level times 100 <laughs> okay special summon one bomb token fire pyro level one attack and defense a thousand your opponent's field when this token is destroyed its controller takes a thousand damage uh, this is referencing a scene from Axel's first duel with Jaden. I don't know how much of a fan I am of the tokens, unless there's something I'm just missing here to where that's just, like, bonkers. But, like, why in 2023 am I trying to give my opponent a token that they can just link off with and beat my ass? Uh, I don't... I don't know how I feel about these bomb tokens, but whatever. Uh, Volcanic Inferno. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, you can banish a pyro monster from your grave and flip 500 damage to your opponent. Then if you banish a volcanic monster, you can negate that activated effect? What? And that's continuous trap. Oh my god, this is searchable. Yo, this card's disgusting, bro. During your opponent's end phase, you can target up to two of your volcanic monsters that are banished and or in your grave. Place them on the bottom of the deck in any order. I wish that it would let you draw, but it also lets you reuse shell. But that's during the opponent's end phase. You can also reuse scatter shot though, so there is that. Um, you get this up actually with Blaze Accelerator Reload. You can basically just use scatter shot every turn. Uh, okay, yeah. So scatter shot's a level two. It's not level one. Of course, we're getting the shell. We're getting the rocket reprint. Uh, the regular Blaze Accelerator. Yeah, of course, Blaze Accelerator Re Reload is going to be on in here. I wouldn't be surprised if they made this like a prismatic or something, or gave it some sort of like hollow upgrade. Same goes for the regular Blaze Accelerator. I'm curious to know if, like, uh, or maybe they'll make Doomfire a Prismatic. That'd be actually kind of sexy. Like, Doomfire is not that good, I feel. But, like, if we could see Doomfire seeing play in 2023, that would be sexy. So, guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. At, just at a first glance, this stuff seems disgusting. The Emperor seems really good. The Trooper seems kind of like whatever. Rimfire just sounds like uh, disgusting. I don't even want to get into it or else I get demonetized. <laughs> uh, but it seems pretty good. The new Blaze Accelerator seems pretty busted. Fire Ejection, maybe. And then the Volcanic Inferno seems really fucking good. And it's searchable, so that's always hot. So guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.